Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 1407, where we have 32 moves to clear out 39 jelly, but we've got ticking time bombs set at 25. So I think that needs to be our primary focus at this point. Um, let's see, I need to get through all of this frosting. Probably working up higher is going to be more important than working lower. Clearing out this area is going to be essential. I'd like to work on this area first if I can, because this will help me to break through to this area, which gives me more specials together, more spaces to make more cool matches and things like that, if I can. Uh, really, I kind of have to take the moves that are available to me at the time they're available, because I don't really have a whole lot of choices here. Now we've got some of these ticking time bombs out in this open area. Oh, now we've broken through. We've breached this wall here. We want to continue doing that as much as we can with all of these different areas here. Oh, that was a nice reshuffle. Of course, I would like this stripe to be moved over before I detonate it. Because it's going to be much more helpful. Well, oh well. Ah, that worked out okay. Now, I wonder if I could wait and let this travel to he oh, Gosh, it's making it difficult, isn't it? I want it to travel to where it's going to be more useful. But things are just flying now, and I don't really have much of a say-so in all this. Here we go. I think I can do it. No! <laughs> that was so close. Well, we still took out a color. When we take out a color, we concentrate everything else down. I've only got a couple of these ticking time bombs to worry about. Now I've got a color bomb here again. Let's take this out. I probably should have gone for the stripe dropped combo, but I just get a little bit worried with the ticking time bombs. I'd like to make sure that those are gone. I could try to wait and see if I can get over here. Not likely. Nope. Why did I have to mess that part up? I feel like this is self-working, though. I don't really have to do too much, and things are just going to happen for me. Ah, I'm going to try this and see what happens. Okay, I've got a few more places where I have frosting. I'm trying to use a little bit of cascading to help me out. There we go. Making some specials as I go. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Now let's take out all red from the board, concentrating the colors down. We get another strike there. And with less red on the board, then we should be able to get more of other specials. Here, we're going to take out another color, too. Concentrate it even further. Make a, making a color bomb and then having it detonate immediately is not a bad option on a board like this. It just does a lot of the work for us. Okay, one, two, three. This is where we have to work. It's funny, with all that concentrating of colors, you'd think that something would have happened over here. Not quite yet. All right, there we go. Huh. I'm getting a little nervous. Let's do this. Okay, so that's gone, and I'm just looking for cascading to help over here. Is that one gone? It should work, right? Okay, well, <laughs> dangerously close to not working out, and I don't know why. I don't think I uh, was paying much attention to the different opportunities I had on the board, but it didn't feel like I needed to until that very end, where it was close to not working out for me. But the good news is this was my first playthrough for recording purposes, so I was able to get it done on the first try. If you'd like to see more videos, you can subscribe. If you ran into problems I didn't run into, 
put something in the comment section. I'll try to answer you as quickly as I can to help you figure out a strategy. And as always, thanks so much for watching.